Diggy diggy hole. Awesome. Look at all this marble. Oh, another bat. Lucius, where'd you go? There he is. Yeah, now you're finally calming down. It takes a lot of work finding all the, uh, patches for the texture pack so that ev everything in the mod looks all beautiful and sfaxy. And I want to put out a huge thanks to, to the community that makes all this possible. All these mods, the uh, compatible texture packs, everything, it's just beautiful. I love you all. I'll have to make my first house out of marble. There's so much of it. I made the chests and I did not deposit all my stuff in the chests. I am such a derp. Derp face, derp face, derpy derp. Hello! Interesting thing to note about pet bats is they will not attack creepers. I can't imagine why. Ooh, Mimikite. Oh, I need a better pickaxe to mine that. Mimikite is really cool. It's also a mod I recently discovered that's part of the Monster Feed the Beasts pack. And basically, a piece of Mimikite can, as the name might suggest, uh, mimic other materials. So you can like put it in a crafting t in a crafting grid with some other material and it'll give you more of that material in exchange for the mimicite, which is really cool. And it appears to be light outside now. Uh. Uh, let's dump the books, some of these saplings, the Backpack, the bees, wood, uh, dirt, charcoal. I'll keep the stick with me. Uh, oh, I'm betting there's something nasty right on uh, the other side of this wall here. Maybe not. Oh, ha! Hello there! Why does that spider have a potion effect? Strength? Why does that spider have a potion effect? Holy crap, I'm on half a heart. Okay, let's uh, worry about those things a little bit later. Lucius, come here. Where'd he go? Funny sounds. Okay, um... First off, I need food. There's this... Here they are. Berry bushes. I am surprisingly thankful for these now. Wow, that healed a lot. They're intended for, like, early game food help. It's a mod that I never actually wanted to install, but there was some kind of glitch with a mod called Paintings++, Plus Plus, which allows you to um, have more paintings in the game, which is really cool. But it also came with the Berry Bushes mod installed as part of it, and there's no way to get it out, which I found pretty annoying for the most part. But right now, I'm thankful for it. It likely saved my life. 
Also, these obnoxious looking plants are from the um, Pneumatic Craft mod, which is a really cool mod, but very little of it has been textured into Sfax, so these plants kind of look like crap next to the uh, um, the high definition textures of these ones. Oh, I forgot to download the updated Biomes of Plenty one. That'll fix these things looking so weird. Uh, little updates I'll have for the next episode. I should have set up some time, blah, 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 some kind of timer to let me know how long I'd been recording. And I don't want to lose track of my home with where Lucius is. So I should probably waypoint it. Or am I too late? Nope, here it is. Okay, so waypoint, new waypoint, um, base uno. And yeah, let's leave it green. Now let's make it more of a lime green. There we go. Okie dokie. Oh, I've got Lucius with me. Never mind. These, like, treasures, lovely treasures. Yeah, just stuff I... Yeah, um, yeah, stuff. I hope no one sees it as cheating. It's not really stuff that gives me an enormous edge or anything. An annoying thing about shaders, if I want to turn them off, I basically have to uninstall the entire mod and restart Minecraft, because if I just go into the options and turn them off, everything looks dark, like there's no lighting at all. This is if the shaders mod is installed but turned off, it does this. Even the sun looks dark. And my FPS is apparently capped at 30 because I'm recording. I was curious to see how high the FPS would go. Oh well. Uh, shaders back on. Oh, beautiful. I also have to add the Biomes of Plenty grass types into some config file somewhere because they are not waving in the breeze like everything else is. Why is it lagging? Probably because it has to reload all the shaders and everything. Hold on, let me stop recording and stop. There we go. Anyway, as I was saying, see how the vanilla grass is waving in the wind, thanks to the shaders, the ferns as well. But the biomes of plenty grass is not. I had an, I had meant to take care of that before, but I forgot. And it also, the shadows just look like crap. So anyway, fix that eventually. Oh, just up here, I saw the corner of my eye. Where'd it go? There. Forestry Beehive. I am going to, One of my goals I have for this series... I th Well, first, I think in episode two, I'm going to disable the shaders because shaders plus recording apparently equals lots of lag, which is irritating. As beautiful as the shaders are... Uh, to me, this is even better than being outside because bugs aren't biting me. I am like a bug magnet. Every time people try to get me out to enjoy nature, not that I don't think nature is beautiful, but every time I try to get out and enjoy it, it's like I get all sweaty, bugs are always biting me, I get some kind of rash, my allergies act up. It's like, I'd rather enjoy nature in Minecraft. Speaking of which, one of my goals for this series is to discover every species of bee in forestry and extra bees. I forget exactly how many there are, but as soon as I can get enough infrastructure to craft an apiaris database, I will find out. There are also lots of trees and more recently added butterflies that you can find as part of forestry, which are all lovely, but the main thing I'm going to focus on finding all the species of are the bees. 
and that is a very difficult task. I tried it once back in Minecraft 1.4.7, which I found more than half of them, but then I ended up, <coughs> excuse me, I ended up kind of losing interest in that save world and then moving on to Minecraft 1.5, yada, yada, yada. Whoa. Cliff-tastic. Check this out. I love catching stuff like this on video. Exploring a new Minecraft world is always such an adventure. Ooh, raspberries. That's a good early game food source. You need to carry a lot of them because they don't really restore that much health individually. But they replenish themselves very quickly. Oh, look at the reflections on that water. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I'll try to keep going with the shaders, see how it works out. Now, I'm not going to take all of these, because I want to give them a chance to regrow in the wild here. Plus, I don't really have a set home base yet where I could put them. thing is, they will... Oh, look! That happened just now! It grew. A, a new bush on top of it. And they will grow up to three blocks high. And the sun is going down again. Why are days in Minecraft so bloody short? Also, why does the Shaders mod make my health bar and hunger bar so dark? cool thing is, even though I'm my hunger bar is completely full, I can keep on eating these berries, and they will um, increase my saturation, which means it'll take longer for my hunger bar to go down, which is very handy. So it's like fill up your hunger bar with steak and then top it off with these berries. Very lovely. Wow, I was hungry. Okay, marble away, a bunch of copper, oh boy. I'm a tad on the lost side here. I mean, I have my waypoints, which will show me back home. This lag is irritating. I have a veritable supercomputer, I'm not supposed to lag. funny, usually my goal is to find iron on the first day so I can make a sword for the night. But I've been too busy trying to be entertaining. Hopefully I've succeeded. Oh, I saw the grass waving. I thought there was a monster up there. Ugh. I might even end up dividing this into multiple episodes. <gasps> Is that a... No, it can't be a jungle hive. Jungle hives are the massively hardest beehives to find. Because they're, they're only in jungle biomes. I think Biomes of Plenty has a couple biomes where they spawn. But anyway, you have they, are, they hide up uh, on the underside of leaves, like that, way up high in the canopy of jungles. And of course they're also the most um, the most valuable of any bee you find straight in the wild. All the other ones you have to breed to get. And bees will produce anything. Diamonds, uranium, iron. 
Of course, it takes an enormous amount of work to get to the point where you have those bees that create those things. But once you get it, and once you get some bee infrastructure set up, they will just pump out stuff like it's there's no tomorrow. I remember uh, in back in my 1.4.7 world, I had a um. Oh, what do you call it? I had eight nuclear reactors running constantly, and the bees were producing uranium faster. <coughs> my, my, excuse me. And the bees were producing uranium faster than the, the reactors could burn it up. And those reactors were uh, producing uranium... Oh, no, not producing uranium. They're producing UU matter, which if you don't know, it's a thing in industrial craft where you, if you have an enormous amount of power, you can actually turn it into matter using E equals MC squared. And then you can basically turn UU matter into anything you want. The system has drastically changed since then. UU matter is now a liquid instead of an item, and making it into stuff is a little more complicated than simply a crafting recipe like it used to be. But anyway, I had a... Hold on, are any of those monsters coming for me? Does not look like it. And anyway, I had it hooked up to a solar panel factory where it would just churn out solar panels uh, from the uh, UU matter created by the nuclear reactors. And I would just compact those solar panels into solar arrays which are basically an enormous amount of solar panels condensed into one block. And the high voltage solar array produces more energy than a nuclear reactor. So I would just take those, I had the base set in one place with the nuclear reactors and the solar panel factory, but then anywhere in the world I needed power, I could just take a bunch of those solar arrays out there and um, use them for power. Oh my goodness, the sky is beautiful. The moon. The moon. Okay, not sure what to do except hang out on top of the trees until... Oh, great. That doesn't look like he can get to me, though. Yada yada yada. Look at the trees in the breeze. Lovely. Zombie cannot get to me. That is good. I should have kept on exploring underground so I could get iron and stuff to get armor so I can really properly explore. might end up cutting all this. Yeah, I'm probably going to cut this part. Just wait until dawn. But man, I'm recording this at 1080p, so if you can by any means watch it at 1080p, you've got to. It is beautiful. Zombie's right there. I can hear him. <laughs> Yay, morph mod. See, I've killed spiders and I've killed skeletons. I haven't killed any zombies yet? Hmm. Yay, 
Yeah, that's how you swing a sword. You're giving yourself a haircut. Oh, you don't have any hair. Giving yourself a skull shaving, I guess. Uh, spider. <laughs> Can't actually see him punch or anything. Ooh, I hear bats. And of course, I can't fit through there because I'm a spider. It's not com Morph Mod is not completely compatible with the Pony Mod. As you can see, it morphed me back into a human shape and then poof, became Pony. Hi, so cute! I usually play as my own Pony OC chip, but um, I don't have an HD skin for him, and these just look so lovely I can't resist. Got a creeper head. Let's wear it. <laughs> creeper with a pony muzzle. Pigs. Food. Ooh. Rice. Very nice. Also from the Growth Craft mod. You can make it into food or into booze. Can't, can't go wrong there. Oh, blast. These are Ivy from Bottles of Plenty. Excuse me, man. My throat is really tickly today. Oh, let me get something to drink. Huh? Okay, I'm back. That was my alarm to remind me to take my medications. Which I have done. Interesting timing, just as I stopped to... Ooh, tin. Tin and copper are good, because you can combine them to make bronze. Oh, but I need a grindstone first, and I need other stuff to make that. 